Step one, sign up on one of the websites I'm about to show you in just a minute. Step number two, download the app on your smartphone, computer, or internet device. Step number three, get paid and make money like Patrick over here. And yes, this works worldwide. But first, don't take my word for it. Have a look at some of this proof. We've paid our members over $128 million in cash. Over $80 million in cash rewards paid. $565 million paid to members. 1.1 million cash and rewards paid out to people just like you in just 12 months. 2 million paid out. 3.9 million, 5.7 million, 26,000, 3.954 million, 30 million, 31,000, 553 million, and over 100 million dollars paid out. That's billions of dollars being paid out to people just like you. But wait a minute, Marcus. What are the websites and how do I get started right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. Make sure you stick around and watch this entire video at least one time because I'm going to reveal the truth of how you can get paid using online apps. And it's actually pretty simple. Whoa, 100 million. Crazy. Let's see how much it's at now. Reload. Wait, 100 million? Wait a minute. Is this just reloading every time I... What? Get out of here. All right, let's dive in and show you the real way to make $500 a day with apps. This is very important. You're gonna wanna watch this entire video. We're gonna reveal the sites. We're gonna talk to you about the truth about how this works and give you a real world way that you can go and make money. Now, remember, results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're gonna make. The average person trying to do this stuff makes zero dollars and zero cents. So keep that in mind when you start any type of make money or business online. Now, before we get into the real app money, I wanna show you this screenshot. This is actually using one of the apps that I built. And you can see some of the screenshots that we had earlier showing you the proof of what these companies are actually paying out. And yes, these companies are legit and they are paying out, but there is one little catch. And you're gonna learn that catch in today's lineup. Here's what we got. You gotta stay to the end to get the goods. Part number one, I'm gonna to talk to you about the truth about money-making apps. Part number two, we're gonna talk about a dirty little secret of who's really making the money here. Part number three, how a simple app could actually make you rich. Part number four, how to outsource your app for next to nothing. And part number five, how to build a back-end profit plan. So yes, we're gonna show you the simple methods that you know may or may not pay well. And then we're gonna show you some methods that actually kick butt and pay lots of money and are pretty easy to implement in my opinion. All right, so now first of all, let's get into the truth about money-making apps and also talk about what people are searching for. Because I gotta tell you, if you wanna make money with apps, you're not alone. There's people searching for getting paid to watch videos, get paid for gift cards, get paid to watch ads, people searching every single day for apps that make money, money-making apps, apps that give you money, even sugar daddy apps that send money, whatever that is. But at any rate, we got lots of people searching. There's actually people searching for the various specific app names like iRazoo, Microworkers, Earnably, and all kinds of stuff. And we're gonna get into the websites that pay in just a minute. Calm down, sit down, stay, stick around. You're gonna get a big aha moment. We're gonna get into those in just a minute. But first, what I wanna do is I wanna talk to you about where the money's actually coming from. Because you see the big screenshots out there, you see billions of dollars being paid, but they hardly ever talk about the users. But since I've been doing affiliate marketing and internet marketing for over 21 years, I actually know what to look for. And what I look for is something called a media kit. So while it's easy to go to Google and search for something, like we've paid our members in quotes, we can actually find all the sites then see how much they're paying their members. What they don't show you is what's actually hidden in the media kit. In the media kit, if you go to these websites and scroll to the bottom, you can actually see a little button or link that says advertise with us. 
You're going to see this on all the sites. You just have to look for it. Now, what this means is that there's advertisers willing to pay for ads on the site. So while they have 1.8 billion paid out, this is actually real world stats from one group of companies alone. It's one company that owns a bunch of them. They paid out $1.8 million, but according to their media kit, they had over 120 million varied, verified users, which means, drum roll please, the average user is getting 15 bucks. Come on. And that's over the lifetime of the account, which means there might be a guy making 100 bucks, but the vast majority are making jack. Now keep this in mind because the real person making the money is the app guy. Because if he could afford to pay $1.8 billion to one person or 120 million people, it doesn't really matter. He had $1.8 billion, and that's a lot of money. And guess what? That's an app. Now, at this point, you could go out there and you could fill out surveys and watch videos and get paid pennies on the dollar and maybe make $10 a week or something like that. But I want to show you a better way. So stay tuned. We're going to give you the list of apps, and then we're going to show you a better way to make money. Which brings us to part number three. How a simple app could make you insanely rich. Years ago, I was reading a story about the guy who created the Honey app. He lived in like San Jose or some Northern California city. And since it costs so much to live in Northern California, I know I used to live there and I moved to Florida because the house, you could get a better house for your money here and they don't have state taxes. That's pretty cool. But at any rate, this guy was out there and he was skimping and trying to find a pizza on discount so him and his kid could have pizza that night. And he decided, hey, what if there was like a little toolbar or a little app that would find coupons for the pizza so I could save money without really having to go look for it. I just choose to use the app and I save money. And bada bing, the Honey app was born. Now, you can see my video about the Honey app and how it makes money in the description. I highly recommend you watch that and the two other videos in the description because if you want to make money with apps, this is what you need to do. Now, he went on to make hundreds of millions of dollars a year as an affiliate marketer with his app and then later sold it for $4 billion to PayPal. Billion, billion, billion. And the idea here is that you don't need to make the next Honey app because you're probably not looking to make $100 million or at least not $100 million tomorrow. But you could start a simple app for a couple hundred bucks and make $100 a day or more. I do it all the time and it's actually not that hard. Again, we want to think small and simple and grow and build. When the Honey app was built, he started with pizza and then branched out and built and grew and it took off like crazy and now he's got a ton of money. They don't even have couches. They probably just sit on cash at his house. And now the list of apps, if you want to make money just filling out surveys and watching videos and downloading apps, here is a list of apps I found. I haven't tested these. I don't know if they're good. I don't know if they're legit. Some of them seem pretty cool. You can do your research and check them out. You got Everest, Apperwall, Swagbucks, Inbox Dollars, Rewarding Ways, Quick Dollar App, Opinion In, Opinion In, something like that. I don't know. Ad Wallet, Irazu, Arazu, Razu, Retail Me Not, Wondo, iPoll, Receipt Hog, where you get paid to upload receipts, and more. You can go to these sites, sign up, and make money if you're interested in making like 10 bucks a week or something like that. Most of them probably do pay, but it's not that much. And now let's go into the real way to make money, which is getting an app developed. First of all, we need to understand that there are people looking for all kinds of apps from sobriety calculators. I'm in sobriety, I'm seven years sober, and we got these little things on our phone when we go to the meetings and it says, you've been sober for five million days or something like that, and people love this kind of stuff. Now you might be saying, Marcus, how am I gonna make money on a sobriety calculator? You know, I'm just giving it away free. Well, what you need to understand is that there's a lot of money out there in this type of niche. Think people going to rehab, people needing help, insurance questions, whatever it is about sobriety. And chances are a lot of these people relapse. I'm in recovery and lots of people relapse and they might need to go to a rehab. Now, if you were to do some research with the Ahrefs keyword tool or the Google keyword planner or whatever your favorite keyword tool is, you would see that the word alcohol rehab goes for $85 a click. That means if someone goes to Google and searches for alcohol rehab and clicks on a link, 
That person's like paying $85 a click to Google for the advertisement. That's a lot of money for one click. So if you had an app with a sobriety calculator that said struggling, need help, click here, you could make a lot of money with that. You could also see people are looking up ad blockers in various different programs like that. Android uh, ad blockers, screen recorders, Android programs, smartwatches, caches, weather app for Android, all kinds of crazy stuff. You can see they're looking for converters like MP3 converters, YouTube converters, and a lot of these apps could be made for like less than $500. They're actually not that hard to do. I do it all the time. I make plugins and all kinds of stuff. We could see here timers, people looking for all kinds of different timers. You can make a timer app. You could see here people are looking for tip calculators. You go to the restaurant and some people don't know how to calculate a tip. So they got a little app and they say my bill was $38. How much should I tip? And boom, ready to go. Really cool. Now what you need to do is you need to think outside the box. For example, if we have the alcohol rehab recovery date calculator, we're going to put those people over here to rehab. Right, very simple. So we're like, okay, those people are gonna go to rehab. Now, some of these you might need to think outside the box for, and you might say, okay, well, what about the people looking for timers? Well, maybe you can get them into like productivity stuff. Productivity, right? Or maybe those people out there that are looking for ad blockers. Maybe you could sell them virus softwares or ad blockers, okay? And a lot of times you could just make a simple tool and then lead them into bigger tools. I'm going to show you how this works. Don't worry. It's actually pretty simple. Or tip calculator. We could take those people and maybe they eat out a lot. We can take them to restaurant coupons or even rewards credit cards, right? Like, hey, this credit card gives you 3% if you eat out a lot. And you could be like, hey, half your tip could be free or whatever it is. You do the math, figure it out. It's pretty cool, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to make our app to help people. The goal of the app is something simple that you can help people with. And some of these, you can even build yourself without knowing a lot of coding because I'm like a terrible coder. And some of these I actually build myself like the domain tool I'm gonna show you in just a minute. But here we have this, we could build these apps and we can make lots and lots of money running these apps, getting them to people and leading them to stuff that pays us money. And if you need help finding the money, you could go out there and you could say, hey, I wanna do a uh, rehab. You could see you get $825 for a one minute phone call or two minute phone call for a rehab. Or you could say, hey, I wanna do credit cards or something like that. You can do credit repair, uh, credit cards, all kinds of stuff. Um, and you could go out there and you can find web hosting, all kinds of stuff that pays lots and lots of money. And your app is nicely going to link into this stuff in a really cool way. So the first thing you're gonna do is find a keyword people are searching for that leads into an app that you can create. Again, think simple. Maybe I'll make an app with 20 different timers or maybe I'll make an app with a tip calculator. And again, this literally, if I was gonna do a tip calculator, I could probably get this done for $150 or less and have it the next day. Very simple, okay? So we're gonna go out there, we're gonna find our keywords that are based around an app people can use. Next, we're gonna outsource our app for next to nothing. Now, you can build this yourself if you know some web stuff, because here's a little secret. An app just leads to a web page. Everything's pretty much a web page. It's just pulling from the web and the app is just like the front door, which is very simple. Okay, now we can outsource our app for next to nothing on sites like onlinejobs.ph, Upwork, Fiverr, Freelancer.com, Guru.com, or Outsource.com. All we need to do is tell the person what we want our app to look like. You can scratch this out with a pen on a napkin if you want. I've done it before. And it's very easy. And you say, hey, this is what I want. How much is it going to cost? They'll tell you what it's going to cost. They build it. Done deal. I pay my programmer to build apps for me all the time. And he's full time. And since he's in a different country, it's only $200 a week to have him on staff. Pretty good deal, right? Then I'm going to want to find out how to link it to the things that make me money. Let me show you an example. I was actually doing research recently for domain value. People looking up domain value, people looking up how to flip domains, right? Like this, where you could see thousands of people, like 15,000 people a month searching for this. People looking for expired domains, right? Like this. And there we go, expired domains, 8,000 searches a month. People looking to flip domains, 
and people looking to buy and sell domains, right? Very simple, lots of people looking for this stuff. We got thousands of people every month looking for it. Now, over at theprofitscoop.com, which is a website where I have lots of tools that you can use for free, all about how to make money with affiliate marketing. What I did is I actually put a tool on here for domains, right? Very simple. So you could go here, you can type in the domain you want, right? Like this, let's say we want to do scooterpals.com, which is one that I'm in the process of selling right now. You can actually go through and go to the GoDaddy value and it'll pull up the GoDaddy value. It says it's 1100. You could do backlinks. It'll show you some backlinks on a different site, right? Like this, we could go and do indexed pages. It'll show you how many pages are in Google. We can go and we can see uh, the Alexa rank. We could see the keyword spy. We could see the stuff gate estimate that says it's worth like 8,000 bucks and on and on we go. So this is a really simple tool that my programmer literally made in 45 minutes for like 10 bucks or whatever it cost me to pay him for 25 minutes. And boom, here we go. Very simple. Now, this kind of tool links really nicely into affiliate offers and programs about how to buy and sell domains and uh, software and everything like that. And you can see here, I've made like 500 bucks on this software. I've made thousands of dollars with web hosting. And it's all from this simple tool that took 45 minutes to make. Now, I can actually package this and put it into an app if I wanted to do that. Or I can make like a little toolbar because one of the tools over at theprofitscoop.com is our toolbar where you can open it up like this and you can use it alongside your, your web and your search and everything. And it actually goes through and gives you all kinds of cool stuff like these money getting tools, the trigger word tool, sales tool, blog tools, all kinds of stuff that helps you make money. And again, I built these based on what people are searching for and made them so it leads to things that make me money. And these make me a fortune. And I've made millions of dollars on these types of little tools. And that leads us to step number five, which is building out the backend profit. You're going to go out there and you're going to build backend profit centers, just like the guy did with the Honey app and I did with the domain tools and the other tools. You're going to have backend profit that works really well, that people can use, that complements your tool and puts money in your pocket. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little different than regular, but I wanted to show you that there are ways to make money with apps without breaking the bank. And if you like this, make sure you subscribe, smash a like button, and get my notes over at downloadmynotes.com. And make sure you check out the links in the description that are going to go deeper into this method. And if you want to learn more about this method, I actually have a course I did with a friend of mine in the Simple Sites course that shows you how to build these little apps and outsource them and find niches and profit from them and everything. If you want to get that, go to simplesitesbonus.com, get the Simple Sites course, and check out the videos on how to create software. Thanks again for watching. I'm Marcus, and check out the next video that's going to go even deeper into this method.